everyone welcome to my channel if you're new my name is Nicole if you're old welcome back and in case anybody's wondering this lippy is from gimme glow cosmetics hold on in the color medusa it was limited edition so i don't know if they still have it they had it on sale last year and they said it was limited edition so i don't know <laughs> i never used it because you know it's kind of or maybe it was earlier this year it could have been like spring this year lord knows um so anyway today I have an Ulta haul. This is actually combined two hauls and actually and I do have a little ipsy offer I'm going to show. So if you don't know Ulta sent me like a few. I didn't even use the last couple because you know rent. But uh, they sent me a few um 20% off coupons on anything including prestige. So I waited waited because something was going into the store or online so I was waiting for the online for someone but anyway first samples I've got is the Clinique Moisture Surge and um oh the Joy by Dior which I really want to smell because that was new and it's pink how do you know like pink what does this one smell like fragrance like a whisper wrapped in the milky softness of sandalwood and the comfort comforting brightness of white musk planted with a sensual floral heart shining with rose and jasmine joy finally captured in a scent passaged with a thousand envelop enveloping 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 nuances i can't say that today so i'm gonna smell this mm, that's not bad did this smell floral it's slightly sweet and a little musky. It's not bad. It might be more of like a mother, my mother's scent though, than mine. But I'm glad to know before I bought that. I don't, yeah, I think it's a little bit more, that musk is a little bit more like my mom. Alright. And this, which is okay, that's not my favorite. Anyway. But the first thing I bought was Beauty Bakery, which finally came to Ulta, which props to that woman. I mean, she worked her tail off as a single mother, a single black woman, um, who's a cancer survivor. I'm like, and she built from the ground up and, uh, and you know, big brands coming for her. You, you know, you stole her concept. You had the exact same pictures, don't tell me anyway <laughs> so ordered a couple things and they are so cute i mean this is smaller than what i thought it was online i mean it's small i mean like there you go um but this is the beauty bakery better not bitter flower setting powder and it says ice cream ice cream we all scream for brownies gelato lip whip eye cream and other sweets. It's totes the norms that tell someone's feet. Uh, our flower can be applied in two ways. Using a brush, you can lightly dust your entire face for a full matte look. With a gentle pressure, use a makeup sponge to apply the flower to your T-zone to absorb excess oil. For a natural looking baked beet, try our lightweight matte flower setting powder. Great for makeup or baking, of course. So, I think this is adorable. I've heard great things. I think Tati always raves about this powder. So, yeah, I've been wanting to try it. Like, I need another setting powder. Like, I need to kick in my head. Because uh, I'm not even halfway through my derma blend. And I still got, like, the cover effects. So, yeah. But I really want to try it. And I got translucent because I find some banana powders, like, because I like to set up my under eye. If I use banana powder on my under eye, it makes it look too yellow. You know what I'm saying? Like, it looks too dark. So, this actually looks cool because it's not white. It's like an off-white. So this is interesting. Okay, you get 0.49 ounces. Um, this is vegan. I thought they were all vegan, like everything. Um, but they hadn't come out with an eyeshadow palette before, but everything else was vegan. Ooh, this is the powder. It's really soft. It's actually thick. You like that. Okay. Ooh, I'd like smooth out all my lines on my hand. Like the little skin cracks. Nice. Kind of covered.
covered up some things. Uber looks like to try this now. Okay. Their eyeshadow palette, the new one, because I was just in that one because I thought it was pretty and I loved it. it. was like Fury of the Oven or something like that. Like it was supposed to be like a Game of Thrones kind of choice. But mm -mm, it contains Carmine, so out on that. Next thing I got was this is one of their matte lip wits, which are apparently awesome. Blossom <laughs> and all. And it slides in and out. That's how it comes out. With it. And I got the shade Cranberry because, yeah, going into that, going into the red lippy season, like I needed a few more. Look at this, and I love the tubing. I love how it says uh, "lip whip embossed" on that. And it's like a twisty tube. It smells lightly vanilla. Oh, ooh, look at that formula though. Dang, dang, not shaky, nothing. I'm excited to wear this. If I had to put this on, I'd, I'd be putting this on. We're gonna see how that dries down. I heard it's really, really hard to remove, and that's why they have their own special little remover. I'm like, mm. but dang, is that not that's a good Christmas color? I mean, sometimes I usually go for a little brighter red, but. I'll rock that. I'll rock that Valentine's Day. I'll rock that for the rest of the day. I'm here. Good fall to winter. I already took it off the thing, but I didn't use it because it's like, oh yeah, I need to shed this. I got me a new day gum brush because I was using this Rebel one, which I really, really liked that just had the, not the pork, corky pine bristles, the, uh, you know, the black things, um, but just these, but slightly smaller, like barrel, but barely barrel, maybe not. But um, I like the handle. It was like really cushy. But every few months I was having to replace it because it the rubber would come off like the handle would off the main part and it, like, there's no gluing it back together or nothing. So I got me a new one and I decided to go with the porcupine um, with the regular things because I find that these bristles, not the non-porcupine ones, I forgot what these called, these plastic ones, actually get the knots out of my hair, right? But the porcupine are supposed to smooth your frizz, so we're going to see how it works tomorrow. Okay, and the next thing I got in this little haul, it has a sample. I got, oh, Amazing Grace, and oh no, I did get a good sample. I got the It Confidence in Cream Eye Cream, which I did like. I don't really know it's any difference, but it's a good moisturizing cream, so I'm like, I'm like the horrible one who doesn't pay attention to like what her eyes are doing, but I do like it, so it's cool that I got a little sample, and I love Amazing Grace perfume, so that one's cool. Y'all knew I had to do it. I was talking about it. I was hesitant on the liners because I heard or was reading the reviews that you have to build them up. But I'm like, I keep seeing them there. They're not being built up. But I don't know. I'm still hesitant. I'll, I'll probably get them when they're like half off or something. I had to get the Pure Times Dr. Seuss the Grinch, which comes out this weekend. I know that. It's the new animated one. I don't think they redid or like redid the expanded the story or something but it's good enough to steal 12 piece collectors face palette and color changing lip balm set and these but what's weird is they're labeling it as red number seven which i think that could be another name for it but most of them is not most time red number seven has a different number but this one is having the carmine number so but not on the eyeshadows which i really care about <laughs> but if y'all haven't seen this one, and who doesn't love the Grinch? Like, so it opens up, and oh my gosh, that's all the candy and stuff on the side. This one actually has glitters, like pressed glitters. And this is like totally impractical. I'm like, <laughs> you know, you're gonna have to use, you can smell the vanilla coming off the box, but look how cute that is. Like, I have a soft spot for the Grinch, I always have. So, the mirror, it does have a pretty little heart mirror, it says the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. But anyway, you open it up, and it's a pop-up. And you got, like, all these little light things, his heart, all that good stuff, a little village. Anyway, you pull this out. <laughs> you pull this drawer out to get the... And pull it all the way out to get the eyeshadows and the lip balm. 
Okay. I mean, pretty much just it's like the old Urban K things, but these do special edition. Um, so these I'd ha I can't put that on my eye and cheek. You know, I have to worry about like eventually breaking out. It usually takes me a few days if I use something with carmine on my cheeks to break up. But you know, my eyeballs are no go day one. So I'm excited about all these shades. They're so much fun. I mean, these two are matte. That's like a sateen. That's a sateen. Um, these have glitter, so you probably have to worry about glitter fallout. And then these are definitely glitter, like. Uh. <laughs> I'm just gonna like dab, see what they do. Oh, they might be okay though. I mean, I'm kind of staying. I mean, I might try them out with a glitter glue first day. <laughs> <laughs> and like maybe like one day I'm staying home to try out the rest but uh, you know they're the pure palette like the trolls palette was awesome a lot of people like the my little pony one um you know that one they did with the clop as a clap box charm was awful but I, I'm liking the mini masquerade one like really I do I love the face stuff I love this other face stuff um, but the eyeshadows are really nice and really different, you know, to be put in a palette like that. I mean, yeah, they could have thrown another matte in there, but I've just used the blush just to cliche. But anyway, going off track. So I actually like their blush. <laughs> I'll use it as a blush too. So I'm excited about these shades. So this is Sly One. This is Cave. Ooh, they're really soft. They're soft, but not like chalky or powdery. And then you got Maxi. Ooh, wee, look at that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm interested in what the Grinch is doing over here. Let me get the gold one on that thing. <laughs> like, who cares and loathe, okay? Who cares and loathe. Look how good they're swatching. I mean, I ain't nothing to say, but I'm excited about this palette. I really want to use it. It's so much fun. Will I use it continuously? Probably not, because it is bulky, big, you know. Their color changing lip balm, which people say are pretty cool. Oh, yes, it smells like a mint. It does smell like mint, so it doesn't stay this like green, which isn't even like the bright green of Lipstick Queen. It's like a soft green, and it's supposed to like go with your pH balance on your lips and uh, change to your perfect shade of pink. That's really light for me. <laughs> Maybe all my lips would be darker. <laughs> But it's nice packaging on that. You got like a bunch of little stars and stuff. So you do have to lift the top to slide it back in. Because <laughs> the edge goes over it. So. Which is good. It like protects it. So I'm like. I think this is so cute. I think like anybody who just has a soft spot for the Grinch. Or loves Christmas. I mean if you love Christmas. You're going to love all the Christmas movies anyway. So. <laughs> I think they would like this as a Christmas gift. And especially with the 20% off, because I think there's what 42 by itself. So, I'm, I'm this is one I might just keep the box. Yeah, if order an AFC offer, you know, I'm always hesitant because they're gonna like to mess me up all the time. So, I did get an AFC offer. I got an IBY, which they had the, they're the ones that messed me up. I just get the IBY Cities Limit palette, whatever, uh, for 10 bucks. And then they sent me the next day's offer that was also 10 bucks. But they refunded me my money. But still, I didn't get my palette. But this time I got my palette. And I wanted this palette because it was so pretty. And it is carmine free. Which I am excited about. Yay. So this is the IBY poolside palette. Isn't that gorgeous freaking packaging? Like just the cutest with the pineapple and everything. And this is what that looks like. Same exact thing. And I, I did touch one, one shade. But anyway, it says IBY poolside. Look at these shades. Look how pretty. You get a mirror too. Look how pretty those shades are. They're just gorgeous. So we're going to try swatching a couple. Like, let's go be wild. Let's go this shimmer. Let's go this shimmer. Let's go this matte pink like look how nice those pink swatch too dang um now this blue one I touched it it swatches awesomely okay that was a bad swatch because it has 
other color up underneath it, but it's fine. There you go. There's that blue swatch, like barely. Okay, ignore that one because I still had uh, the white mixed in, so it like kind of did a dual shade. Um, let's like do the pool side. Like they are really pigmented. I'm like, like yeah. And it's like I can't. Remember. I'm like, unless I'm just feeling like I'm very seasonal with my eyeshadow usually. So I'm like, unless I'm just really feeling something spontaneous. So this isn't a fall or Christmas palette. Um, so I might have to wait a little while to break this out for me. Unless I just want to do a look with it. If you want me to do a look, I'll do a look. But yeah, I'm not going to wear it day to day because, yeah. <laughs> I'm very seasonal with my eyeshadow. I don't know why. I just think. But this offer, it was like... $12, $14, anyway. It came with a jet black liquid eyeliner, which is nice because I was starting to run low on some of my liquid eyeliners. That's a really nice line. Um, it's not bleeding. It went on smoothly. Uh, because all my makeup looks and stuff I was using them up. And I didn't have as many as I thought I did because I think I've been using or giving them away like when I get them because I don't use them that often. Um, and then I got an IBY lip gloss, which I hadn't tried. I don't think that this could be a full size. I'm not sure how big their full sizes run. I mean, it's not exactly small. This is called Pink Taffy. Taffy Taffy. That's what that shit. Ooh. Hold on. Ooh, you smell like a cookie. What cookie? Like a... Like a coffee cookie? Like a coffee cake almost. That did nothing. So I'm at actually, mm, I'm into that. I like the smell of coffee and coffee drinks. I just don't like the taste of them. Hope you enjoyed my haul. So thank you for watching, like, and subscribe. Toodles.